check. How does it sound is going to get me over and over again? Oh, well, so let's try this again. Man, sound. I wouldn't have, of all the gremlins, I would have thought, I wouldn't have thought sound was going to be my gremlin. Uh, okay, well, there you go. So, okay, let's try this again. Let's kind of, okay, yeah, I get it now. Everybody's going to let me know I don't have sound. Um, I appreciate that. So let's start this over. I apologize for all you folks that were kind of on there waiting. This is why I shouldn't just like impromptu do this off my phone as opposed to just, you know, have it all cued the way it's supposed to. So we have finally gotten, you know, not finally by I me, mean, I guess fairly quickly, uh, been able to get up what we call the wet bulb globe temperature onto uh, msliveweather.com. So I'll kind of point it behind me here. Let's kind of start this over. So I'm looking, I see my audio coming through there, so we should be good. Um, so on the web page there, if you click a little hamburger in the upper right hand corner, you scroll down the map room, there are a bunch of different things that we have on here. And you know, one of those is temperature. Click see more on that. And so you have you know, your, your current temperature, your feels like temperature, but you also have that wet bulb globe temperature that is so necessary for a lot of different activities such as, you know, I mean, if you're going to, if you're going to be uh, doing, say, band or football practice, there are certain regulations by the Mississippi High School Athletics Association on how you, um, when, how and when you can practice. And so uh, that right there is uh, the way in which that's determined. So let's kind of explain what we're looking at here for a moment. First off, we have the current example of that. That's what you're looking at on the screen there. And again, this is available on msliveweather.com. You have a two hour forecast, we show right there. And then you have a four hour forecast, we show right there for you. So it's kind of cool, we got all that. And if you prefer heat index or you know, the current temperature, all that's under this temperature page that we have here. Uh, in the uh, Mississippi Live Weather app that is available as well as on the website, of course, msliveweather.com natively where that is available. And uh, let's go ahead and look here for a moment and I'll just kind of show you how to find that. So I'm going to open up my app here on my phone. We'll, we'll see if we navigate right to it. So I, I, I always have the widget up, so I have the, the widget for the next couple of days. So where do we find that? Obviously, you can see the live stream there at the top. Um, we scroll down to where it says map room. You see that where it says map room, we'll tap on that. And then that's going to load up and believe it or not, temperatures is the top one there. You tap on that and scroll down and right there, there is your wet bulb globe temperature for now for two hours and for four hours. And in talking to us, some folks, it seemed as though current operational understanding of that or whether, whether or not, you know, it was available was probably the most important thing for folks. So that's the reason that's kind of the way we tackled it. I think we will try to expand it where it's available throughout a, a greater qu quantity of the state coverage portion of the state. Um, but that's just kind of where we went ahead and started it here. Um, so hopefully that's something you find useful. Uh, again, I think for a lot of folks, it's what's the big deal and that's fine and nothing wrong with that. Um, but we did, you know, have a very specific use case involving, students and you know frankly you know we're all about safety here and so making sure that you know football players you know their coaches have access to accurate information is important okay so let's actually go back to this for a second how do you read this because there are very specific temperatures that those coaches are allowed to you know when you look at the reading of it right and so the way this is set up um if you see there the colors on the screen so if it is in the reds uh that's going to be the and and i need Hold on, give me a second here, pull it up exactly. Because there are different thresholds. I remembered them last night. You know, the green is use caution. Let's go ahead and take this off of me and put it back onto there for a moment as I get back onto the screen. Just give me, wheel that thing around to there. So when you're looking at the green, that is the use caution. Uh, the yellow is, I believe you can, you do two hours maximum. The red is one hour maximum. And then there's on the scale, it's not obvious unless I blow it up for you. Uh, on the scale, you see there's a place there where it says extreme, where it's kind of in the black there. And that extreme in the black is that you cannot practice outside, no activities are allowed. Um, so we've kind of, rather than have the temperatures listed there, we kind of broke it down into the impacts. Again, um, use caution. If it's not on the map at all, you're fine. But use caution, uh, 
two hours max, one hour max, and then that uh, you know can't can't practice outside uh, because it's just too extreme. So so that's kind of us trying to we try to boil that down. Hopefully, that's something you find useful. If you don't, you know, that's the beauty of the website. You don't need to necessarily go and check that out. But at least that's now available for folks. I know that apparently there are some paid services out there. Um, I would appreciate feedback from folks if you'd be willing to give it. Um, can't guarantee I'm going to see it right now, but in the next coming weeks to make sure that you know, that kind of matches what you're seeing from those paid sites as well. Um, but this is free and of course available at msliveweather.com. So hopefully it's something you enjoy and appreciate. I'm going to double check here, see uh, in the comments because I need to go up there and check those out just in case uh, to see, make sure that that is kind of what, what folks were looking for. So let's give it a second here. Um, so yeah, it's kind of, we're kind of doing a little bit of the studio tour here. Couldn't find it. Um, okay, so cannot hear you. Okay, well, I think we're back up and going. Can you tell us we must open Google to hear? No, the problem was I messed up. Um, I, I didn't have something clicked. Rather than loading up or something I clicked, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna click that on. And I have my thing programmed that when I go live, I do it in a specific way and it takes the audio up and I didn't check the audio levels. So that's me, that's me messing it up. Um, so anyway. Uh, yeah, so coaches, um, other folks out there, you know, let me know if this is kind of, kind of what you're looking for. Uh, if not, we can make some tweaks. That's the beauty of it. As I keep joking over and over again, we do whatever we need to, whatever we want. So, um, some thunderstorms out there this afternoon that are likely to kind of increase in coverage. Of course, check that out. I might do a different push alert here in a second to try to well, I, I can get you to the map room, but you have to hit the temperatures on your own. So uh, again, uh, one more time to kind of show you where that is at in the app. Um, we'll pull it up fresh. I'm already on it, so let's get back to the home screen. So if you're on the home screen with the whole live stream and everything like that, you scroll down. You scroll down to where it says map room there. I don't know if you can see that map room. You tap that. And then temperatures is actually the top thing in that list. I don't know if temperature is going to stay the top thing in the list, but it is where it is right now. You tap temperatures, and then from there, it'll show. Oh, that's not happy. Let's figure out what's going on. They, the, the pictures also might be refreshing right now. So let's kill the app and reopen it. That worked perfectly a minute ago. I promise. So let's find out. Uh, scroll down. Let's go map room. Let's go temperatures. I wonder if I didn't connect it right. It worked a minute ago. That's where it will work. Let me check and see. Let me check on the on an actual computer over here real quick. That looks good. Yeah, everything looks good up there on the website. So maybe the maybe the wrapper of the of the app is is unhappy with me at the second. I also have I'm off of my Wi-Fi here at the studio, so that might be might be messing with me. Hey, you know what? We'll get it fixed. If it, even if it's not working, we'll get that up and going for you here pretty soon. Let me double check. I click on any of the other things under Map Room and see if those are working or if it's just my phone unhappy. Click on Severe Weather Alerts. Those are good. Click on Map Room. See, my web guy is going to get on me because I just decided to hack this through myself, so maybe I messed something up. Well, it is working on the website. So we'll get it. We'll get it and make sure it's up and working on the app here. Uh, I thought we had that, so I'll call him up here in just a second. We'll make sure we get that figured out. But that's where it'll be under Map Room under Temperatures. You know the link, uh, and we'll get you taken care of there. So it's working on his phone. Good. Well, it looks like Vicky's phone is working with that. Um, perfect. Okay. So it's just my phone. Yeah, that happens sometimes. So so you know, occasionally the apps do funny things on other people's phones. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you guys uh, for our next live broadcast. We're going to try to, um, you know, American hero here uh, in in uh, Tupelo passed away uh, earlier this week, uh, Smitty Harris. Um, the funeral for uh, the remembrance of life and funeral is uh, at 1 p.m. today. And um, there's going to be a special flyover uh, at Veterans Park in Tupelo coming up at, I believe, 3 p.m. is the time on that. We're going to try to carry that flyover live uh, just as, you know, to honor him uh, and his legacy and um, just just a person that, that did things, experienced things in a way that would have changed most of us and yet 
was still true and honest to himself, um, even to his dying days. Um, just an incredible, incredible human being. Um, so we want to carry that live. Uh, we'll do that coming up at um, at 3 p.m. Anyway, we'll be live for that. And then, of course, we'll have the weather stuff coming up at 5 p.m. So we will see you a little later on. Thanks for joining us here for this. And hopefully you enjoy the enjoy the new thing. And it uh, hopefully keeps your, your family and in particular your kids safe when we're it could be used for playing outside, but it can also obviously be used for all those extracurricular activities. So we'll see you all a little later.